uh, Beano Black, folks, Palau, zoomed in at 1,000%, and check that out. That is a figure eight, the black eight ball, the tetrahydrin, terahydrin. I call it terahydrin because every object that NASA has in space has a shitload of names, and I have a shitload of names for some of the stuff that I see. Because this thing is the black eight ball, and we see almost an eight ball of light. And that was zoomed in at 1,000, and then I just go through the photos that I got. I started zooming in and out at like 100, started off at like 25. You're going to think that it's when you're watching the video, you're going to think, hey, it's one of the scientists walked out there again. It's not. And I'm wondering if they're picking up meteor or asteroid material down there. Which is fine, they have that, but I'm pretty sure it gets internationally shared since there's mining is illegal down there. It's basically supposed to be all grouped together with a bunch of countries have a uh, compact. Okay, so I'm just popping back into the thousand as I zoomed out. It's Nehemiah's Palau, and that is going to end up being as I go through these. It might get a blur as I'm going back through it, but I try to slow down. We get 950. And we get to 975, and then there's a thousand as close as I can get. Now you can make snapshots and go to you know what software and play around with it on art, okay? And blow up these shots even more. Should be able to. Okay, getting away from this shot real fast. So the idea that you will see it in the video to save video time, because this popped in at 1820, and it's triangulations, folks, because and that's just a very tight triangulation of this stuff. Because there before, there it is, it pops in, and there it is, it's gone, okay? That's your clock. Look for your clock times right there on the screen, okay? In, I mean, not there, pop in, okay? I dream of Jeannie, the evil little uh, in-law, mother-in-law, okay? I mean, just joking around, folks, but pop in, pop out. Same stuff I've so showed you that basically uh, comes in down at Casey Station. We want to thank the British, but most importantly, we'd like to see what happens at 1600 hour and 1700 hour because if you notice up here, it's missing, and it's missing for a good reason because we're going to go down to. Uh, I'm not going to waste time, but the 1600 hour is missing, and also the 1700. And they've got 16 and 17 listed here. You go to it, you get that blank page, and 16 and 1700 hour there is not there. Rothbear, the British station. And we'll show you why from this camera. Right here, you'll just see it starting in. Now I'm going backwards, okay? So you'll see why from 16 to 1700 hour that it wasn't didn't show, okay? Something's getting closer, and you go down there and watch these videos on this, because I'll hit start on this bugger, and there's more than, more than likely our figure eight action, and you're going to end up seeing time in a V. I'll let this play through here real fast. And that is deep, dark darkness, folks, falling in on Nehemiah, okay? And then you'll see a V action of it, and also this action, and there, where we got there? Yep, exactly what we normally see. Gets in front of that Rigel Cantera speed, because you see the clock, it's, it's early, early AM, not early enough for, uh, I'm going to let it play. And it's 1600, and as we go back here real fast, it comes through again the next, I'm not sure if the date changes, but, and then the, the blackness comes in, okay? Yep. And don't be shocked. And they are basically loading these C containers, and these are C containers, and they, it was I was wrong about the plane guess. It's basically getting on a cargo ship. If you watch video. Now, that's a guy's head, folks. He, he was up by the camera. And to make the emphasize that for you, don't let anybody try to fool anybody or mess anybody up thinking that that was that big object that we get on the other cameras because basically they were down by the camera, a couple guys, and some guy got his head in the shot. Okay. But there is our 16 to 30 and 16 to 40 and 1700 hour there. That's not it. It's a guy's head, okay? So you, they do get. As you see, they start to get the shadow coming across, okay? The object and then the dark light. Now, if you see and you go back in and you take pictures of this yourself too, also, there it is there, or one of them on the other side, okay? And we know that that's a marker that they have out there all the time. That right there is a marker they have all the time, but it was on the other side of the power cord or don't get lost line, okay? 
and there is a shot of a three triangulation and just about every day down at Davis Station this big object comes across the sky folks 150 a.m. down there okay and then there uh, there's a shots of that terahydrin tetrahydrin because there's two pieces of diamond there black diamond there black diamond there and then that so I'm going to try to get some more pictures here to you and the idea that that's the ferry or whatever the ship or whatever it comes in either that or it's some kind of a almost a submarine icebreaker or something like that that they've customized made to get the sea containers out of there all right and they also have a lab or something like that or that's part of the ship I guess or the barge the crane is taking those sea trains out uh, there is our object there is your time so I zoom in on it there and it's a basically a black diamond on the corners and crystal in between so it's almost like diamonds in space and IE diamonds are not as rare as everybody thinks there is if you don't believe me there's a park down in G Georgia go to go to it it's a, a diamond park down in Arizona and there I mean down in Georgia and there's another diamond so the idea that there is a planet up there that had volcanic activity or lots of have the same makeup of the of the earth folks and when they have done the Big Bang and we have these particles going through space light hits them and reflects it down and the idea this is bright with light in the middle of that diamond okay and then the coalish dark spots of the diamonds on the outside that are going through space or the material of, of space objects up there gives us the black light down here and the hologram on earth because the idea that it has so much light going through it in the middle of it where it's clear and so forth and such such and then there are the dark ones and you see that last video you can see that diamond going across the sky on the Hawaii footage on my video the last like I say last half dozen or so check it out I've got footage that I uh, had from Hawaii and we ended up I ended up make sure that the video was going and got that through there once again more than likely a flare of the Sun hitting an object that's large in space probably the supergiants and again more than likely mercury on fire and these pictures will match up as you will see the dark area there will match up with this dark area here these match this pat picture there matches this one's always turned as we say and that coming through and you can check the earlier ones up in the earlier video today and also this is zoomed in as you see the size of the Sun and that's also that dark spot there and you can see that this is basically that where that flare hits that object i.e. from Lasco 3 here you see that object that more than likely that flare hits because it gets dark that flame gets stopped by object in space okay this is the super giants here and there's that gap again from the video uh, and or the the shots of basically i.e. that is that there which is exactly this here okay and this matches and also this at the gap there matches this and this match to our there and most importantly it just totally blows you into the truth that the idea that it matches this and this and it is from a farther away sh this is actually a farther away shot so you can see this side or actually this is a closer shot and the other one is farther away so same satellite different shots as ie this and this is that there and that there okay so and then this is super giants here and they got the mercury cut out here because this is farther back this shot is farther back so don't let that misconceive you it's farther back shot this is closer in and you see mercury on the farther back shot when they zoom out they zoom out they crop off mercury or whatever other object near mercury that is on fire and it's not Mars and it's something around there and the idea that we've seen it before that something was on fire next to Mars so it's either something next to Mars or Mars that's on fire okay now on my pirate site which you can go to the link is in my channel 
and they mess with it, Kerasoft does, so cut it down and take the tags off of it if they screw with it, but it should go to my Super Giants channel. And this is the Super Giants, and it's mass of the Super Giants. If you go to Worldwide Telescope, in IE, the figure eight of light and the idea that it matches, that it's a arahydrin, tetrahydrin, a black diamond crystal in space and light in humongous, and this is in front of Rigel Cantaris B, as you see the figure eight, like we have seen in, if you go back to my early videos of showing you Nibiru's first sighting on USA, American Beautiful, and everything. Just go to my videos and go all the way back to the original ones. It's got a green background on it. And you will see this figure eight action. This is it. Let's go through the photos here as this thing jumps around in this time frame, folks. And it goes front and back and left and right. I have to queue up to, to all the physicists and scientists and astronomers out there and astrologers and whatever. The idea of the size of the sun and the humongous of this has to be Mercury more than likely or something next to Mercury that caught on fire that could burn that big because it didn't leave right away and we still see it in Soho. I.e. it's still in Soho, ladies and gentlemen. It's right friggin' there and they don't let you see it. This Navy shot is zoomed out and they don't let you see it, but it's there. Now we look above at Palau and everything like that, but even the Australian ones also, their, their site, that the idea, they study the krill fish and other fish and habitats underneath the water, folks. Krill fish is pr pretty cool because you can see through it. It's uh, kind of a, somewhere between a fish and a jellyfish because the idea that you can see right through it and you can see its tail there as it gives its reflection down onto the bottom of the Antarctic there, the water. And that's real clear water down there. And as you can see, there's some baby ones or smaller or other different around. And they do a real good study down there on the krill fish, okay? So check those out. I missed one the other day where it had a real good shot where he was just hanging out. And he basically got pretty real close. And you could see how big he was with their centimeter thing, being able to see how big he is. But popping back real fast, I think this should be to the front. And it's pretty cool stuff down there, the fish in, in, in the Antarctic, folks. So, and even the German ones there, they're studying fish underneath that lab that we keep on seeing the fish at Nehemiah Station. They're studying fish there, too. Thanks, German guys down there and everything. So I caught this on this video of mine and went back to it and looked and found it. And remember, I don't allow any advertising, so whatever they're doing, YouTube is making those advertisements, not me. And as you see here, folks, you will see a black diamond go across the sky here in Hawaii on this footage at the front of that video. Okay, that black diamond right there. It almost looks like a V at some times, but they are almost are like a solid diamond shape, and they're clear on some spots, on some corners. So you can't miss it. You can't miss the trail coming through. It looks like a satellite falling or something falling through our atmosphere. And it looks like they've done some colorization here to cover up the idea of me being able to show it. Maybe, no, that's darker. Because we normally have these two objects. As it froze there on player, but there. We normally have this object here and this object over here, okay? And then this black diamond ends up going towards it. So we have those terahydrins, tetrahydrins, folks. And this goes to it right there, back. Bam. That black diamond. Terahydrin, tetrahydrin, and then bam, there it is, and there is that stream behind it. So, so all this is matching up and getting closer, folks, because you're seeing the dark diamonds are almost right down on the snow. And here's your eight that I'm talking about, the eight ball, because it's the figure eight up there, and it's these other holograms. And this was back in September. I cough out of webcams around the country, and going to be interesting to take some time and go back and look at these again too but you can go back and research and watch my videos on this this is America's beautiful uh, first Nibiru sighted in the United States and my videos attest to everything so you can go back to them held off of uh, making videos for a long time and then all this stuff matches stuff comes and hits the ground and more than likely is very good technical and data is piled up that the idea that this is what caused the volcanoes to go kaboom and there's your eight your figure eight folks like i've been saying is there it is this stuff hits the ground there's tetrahydrons terahydrons and it's light from outer space ladies and gentlemen from rigel cantaris b and also from our sun okay most importantly from rigel cantaris b 
More videos soon. Watch.